Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about uh, multiple inheritance using interfaces in Java. In our last class, we clearly discussed about uh, inheritance and interfaces concepts. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, multiple inheritance. Uh, in our last classes, when we discussed about classes, multiple inheritance is not allowed using classes. So, class A extends B, C. So, this is what the concept of multiple inheritance. A is going to inherit two classes. One is B, other one is C, which is not allowed using classes. But it is the concept which is allowed in interfaces. Why it is going to be allowed? Let's try to understand with an example. Let's take an interface A. In this, we are having two methods, M1 and M2. M these two methods are abstract methods. And we are having one more interface, interface B. We are having one method, M1 method. These two methods are same. So, class C implements A, comma B. Yes, C can implement A comma B, multiple inheritance using interfaces. It is going to inherit two interfaces at a time. Yes, this is allowed. Why it is allowed? Because, see, here we are having M1 method and here we are having M1 method. So, when, when we are trying to implement these two interfaces, in the class C, we are going to implement only one time, public void M1 off. Even though it is having this and this, these are abstract methods, but the implementation is done in the class C only one time. That's why there is no conflict which method we have to call because implementation is done here. That's why multiple inheritance is allowed using interfaces in Java. So this is the concept you need to understand. So here M1 is implemented here and M2 is implemented here. So, this is the concept of multiple inheritance. One more important point you need to understand. Let's take with an example and understand interface A and interface B. Here we are having two interfaces and a class, class C. Now, we can do both the things. We can extend the classes and we can in implement the inheritance interfaces. Uh, class D extends C implements a comma b yes we can do both of them this is the point you need to understand so that's why we have taken this example uh, hope you understand this uh, important points if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you